Hey, it's your girl Latrice, and I'm coming to do a review on some finger polish, fingernail polish that I purchased, and it's called it's by Ruby Kiss, and it's called Teal Envy. Okay, I have it on my nails right now, and I'm not satisfied with it. I'm not satisfied with it because um, it's just not doing like I thought it would do with my skin complexion. And you know, sometimes just because you like the color does not necessarily mean that it's for your skin complexion. So I'm going to do it for two weeks because I spent some money on it. So, hey, y'all tell me what y'all think. This is the design I got on my nails. And I'm just not feeling in on my nails. So if you guys like it, I got it at my local beauty supply store. It's called Teal Envy. A nice spring summer look. And as you can see, I got on my teal or turquoise, if you will. Also, I might not like it because of the service that I received at the nail shop. First off, the guy had an attitude. That's not customer service. I worked in customer service for over 10 years. And I was not feeling his customer service. Second of all, this is my first time coming to your store. Somebody actually recommended your nail shop to me. And I took out the time to go to your nail shop. So you rushing on my nails and telling me that I need to do a full set over. Uh-uh, that's not going to run by me. Do what I ask you to do. Put my feeling on, okay? That's all I'm asking. He was just real rough. He didn't take care of my nails like I wanted them. He was like, like real rough. Like this, this acrylic wasn't attached to my nail. Like I wasn't feeling anything. He was just, I didn't like it. And also he, um, what did he do? I didn't like. He found my nails. And it seemed like they watered down their products because, okay, you know the saying they say green green may be grass on the other side? <laughs> Don't always go to the other side. Trust me, be happy where you're at because they take care of you when you're on the side that you're supposed to be. When you start trying to tip over that fence and go to the other side because the grass seems like it's greener it's not it's just high and the grass needs to be cut that's the only thing okay i was at a nail shop that i've been going since i started getting my nails and getting them done and they take so good care of my nails like i love going there they're it's a wonderful nail shop and they're, they're gentle. They take their time. They're not rushing. If you got issues with your nail pulling up, they will cut that piece off and put, make sure that it's back intact. And they'll redo that whole nail for you for free and charge. And then they give you discounts and stuff. And this, the nail shop that I went to yesterday was just horrible. Horrible in service. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I don't even feel like bringing up their name. That's how horrible they were. So, anyways, next topic, church service. Today's service was so good. I needed that service because I got a lot of things that are going on with me next week. So, he, he preached out of the book of John, chapter 6, 5 through 13. And then he preached out of the book of Mark, I think it was chapter 6. Or chapter 9. And he was saying that, you know, God made a miraculous miracle come forth out of feeding thousands and thousands of people out of five loaves of bread and two fish. And what he was, what the pastor was saying that, you know, your problem is not too big where God can make a miraculous change in your life. Don't make your problems more bigger than what God can do. What, how did he say? He said, don't make such a big deal out of your problems to where you make it seem like it's impossible for God to, to deal with it. He was like saying that Jesus is your source. So if you have a source, he's your shepherd. He's there. He said he talked about the three P's. He's a protector. He's a provider. And he is supposed to be present. 
and Jesus is present in your life and when God sees you when you're going through and sometimes storms are not bad all the time sometimes God has to has to cause something to come into your life so that he can prove himself to you to where your faith can amplify so God God has to prove himself to you so that you can believe and not doubt him not have no doubt without a shadow of a doubt so that was the sermon today and I received it and I'm waiting for my miraculous blessing and I'm just so excited for this week to start and I want you guys to have a wonderful and blessed week and stay highly favored and I will talk to you guys later. You stay blessed. Bye.